Welcome back everybody to another installment of fighting everybody in the strongest battlegrounds, the series in which I fight YouTubers, well-known players, and skilled players that are YouTubers. Last episode, I fought one of the biggest creators in the strongest battlegrounds, Loppy. After that fight, I learned that I need to work on adapting better to different classes. The day resets once again though, and with the rise of the morning comes forth a new fighter. In today's episode 1 we'll fight the man of the hour, one of the most beloved creators by the public, and the annihilator of the toxic, Humboldt. Before we fight Humboldt though, it is important that we do our research on him before the fight. Humboldt is a strongest battlegrounds based YouTuber with over 160,000 subscribers. When it comes to what Humboldt is known for, he is known for being the killer of toxic players in the strongest battlegrounds, often using his catchphrase, Stay Humboldt. Humboldt had an explosive rise to fame in TSB, only blowing up his channel in just a few videos. This was partly thanks to the rise in the genre of toxic content that was taking over at the time. Humboldt was also involved in one of the biggest controversies so far in 2024, being exposed by two big YouTubers, Loppy and Remkeo, for staging multiple videos and other shady things. I've made a video discussing the drama, but to sum everything up Humboldt was actually a joint collaboration run by two people. The two people who ran the channel were a TSB YouTuber named D for Davin and an unknown pro player who Davin would pay to help him. A few weeks after the expose video came out, this unknown pro player came out and made a video. This person was named Twisted Q, a well-known pro player from Europe. He made a video basically coming forth about the Humboldt channel and Davin, explaining that Davin, the main person who ran the channel, was an overall shady person. This was backed up by showing that Davin would frequently give late payments to Twisted, and would give many empty promises. Phew, that's a whole lot of lore for a channel that was only made two months ago. Even though this is Twisted who I'm technically fighting, I'll just keep referring to him as Humbled. Now that we have the basic background check out of the way, let's analyze the way that Humbled fights, although Humble has a couple of instances where he has fought YouTubers, the video I will mainly be analyzing him from is when he fought Hitana 2k. After thoroughly watching Humble play in this 1v1, I could conclude a few things. The first thing that stood out to me was that Humble likes to play based off of his enemy's movement, exploiting their own play style and using it to initiate sudden attacks. Humble also uses Garu, leading me to believe that he's a more defensive-minded player. Breaking down his gameplay even further, you'll notice that Humble likes to jump on mistakes that he's able to spot, and he seems to be a master at doing this. The moment Humble sees an available opening for him to jump on, he uses his swift side dash to immediately close the distance between the opponent and him to start his combo. It is also worth mentioning that Humboldt is good at adapting to fights, as when he fought Materia, one of the best players in the strongest battlegrounds, he was able to snag a win over him, forcing Materia to start going sweat mode. Although Humboldt lost versus Materia, this fight allowed me to scale how good he really was. With the background check and fighting analysis done with, let's summarize everything we know about Humboldt. We know that Humboldt is actually twisted, an EU pro who lost to Materia which places him at the expert skill level. We also know that Humboldt is a defensive-minded player who uses Garu, which means I'll have to play smart to beat him. We also know that Humboldt has a quick side dash, so I'll have to manage the range between him and I. With all of these facts in mind, I think it's finally time to see if the humbler of toxic people is as good as they say. Loppy's final major claim was that Fordavin stole the channel from a previous pro player who was
Even though we tied, I still feel that I lost because I had difficulty adjusting to humble even in my own servers. I learned a lot from this battle though. Let me know down below who I should fight next.